Wow. <laughs> I look like shit. Guys, um... <sighs> Guys, it has been a while. I'm sorry, if you hear someone chewing, that's my dog. I'm gonna bring her out. Come, Sisa. Up. Hi, guys. I know I look horrible. And this is gonna be one of the worst conditions that you ever see me in. I know my hair is a mess, I'm just tired. I don't have makeup on, but I'm tired, guys. Really tired. I finished filming at about 5 a.m. yesterday, and I'm finally done with my role. I'm done with Flora Mattel. Uh, the series is gonna be up in August, and guys, really stay tuned. It's my first ever Malay series, and I can't wait for you to watch it. I woke up at 11 because I cannot sleep anymore. The sun was really shining brightly, and uh, I had a lot of things in my mind. I feel like because of filming, a lot of things had. Been, has been lagging behind like vlogging, my emails, uh, preparing, prepping for my shoot, my, my social media shoot tomorrow, lots and lots of things. Um, so I got up and started thinking what to do for my vlog because obviously I haven't been shooting for two weeks now. And I thought, why don't I take you through what I eat in a week? Food is, is a love-hate relationship with me for me for with okay i have a love hate relationship with food why i love food i love eating and it helps me de-stress but i used to hate it a lot growing up in the entertainment industry that meant i am always judged based on my looks so you see i am not tall i am five feet two and i'm not skinny i'm not like model skinny thin i wish i could be like that but i'm not like that because i used to i used to work out a lot i used to play tennis for the state i used to play table tennis for the district i used to swim i used to bowl i used to do a lot of sports because my whole family do sports and naturally if you do sports and you eat you are a bit bigger i am a bit more around the chest area i'm a bit more around my hips and thighs and it is just how my body is. I can eat a lot and I can eat very little and I still have like all these. Um, now you guys may say like, oh, you have chest and you have an ass. Uh, that's great. It wasn't great for me. Uh, I used to be called fat when I go for shoots. I still remember there was a director who famously said, Kuwait, if you're so fat, if you are gaining more weight, I'm gonna have to film you with wide angle lens. That hurt me a lot. The fact that I still remember today, it still hurt me, it still bothered me. But I don't let it affect me now. Uh, I used to be a bulimic for many, many years. And uh, so I had this battle with food. I love food, but at the same time, I hate the fact that it made me fat. Not fat, but bigger than other people. It's big enough that I don't look good on screen. Because you guys know that, I'm sure a lot of people know, on screen, you have to look a certain size. You have to look slimmer because it's nicer. It's a generic view. 15 years ago, when I was a teenager, there is no such thing as thick or voluptuous or or being comfortable in your own skin or self-love. It didn't exist 15 years ago. It exists now. Like different shapes and sizes, they are all loved and all praised. But 15 years ago, it wasn't like that. You all have to be skinny. And because of that history that I had, I became very obsessed with carbs dessert sweet stuff and I got really scared of them and then I stopped myself from eating for a very long time then I start binging on it again then it's a whole cycle and it took me many many years to get comfortable with eating and being happy with what you eat again to get to where I am today it is a lot of uh, crying a lot of hard work a lot of self reassurance and um, today, I'm proud to say that I'm clean. I haven't, 
been a bulimic for a very long time. But that does not mean that food doesn't trigger me anymore. It's I think it's a lifelong process to tell myself that it's okay. My body is magical. My body can digest all these fats and carbs and sugar. It is a process and it's tough still today. But now I eat and I eat everything in moderation and I exercise and uh, I just thought since you guys know that I'm an actress and maybe some girls out there think that I restrict my diet a lot which I don't anymore so I'm just gonna give you a very very clear picture of what I eat and I'm not gonna lie I eat a lot I just exercise a lot more that's how it is I think this is gonna be this week's vlog food and I just now I had some pan mi. My mom calls it pan mi. Some people call it something else. My mom made it and we had it with some minced pork and mushrooms, my favorite, fried anchovies. And we just put it all in a bowl and um, yeah, I had it with my family. I didn't talk just now uh, during the meal because my grandma was here and then my parents were there. I didn't want to be talking to the camera. And so I think a lot of my, this vlog will be me showing you the food and then me recording and talking about my experience after. This is homemade pan mi. Dad made some noodles for dinner. It's my favorite. I had this since I was young. It might not look really good, might not look fancy, but it's the best. I love it. I can eat a lot of it. And he made like a whole bowl of it. It's huge. Look, check it out. Check out the size. Yes, this is so good. Mm. Hi, today is a Wednesday and I am going to have a meal with my photographer at Shanghai. I thought I'd take you along with me. By the way, the reason why I'm going to Shanghai is because they reached out to me and they said, hey Koi, you want to come drop by for lunch? Uh, and I said, okay. So it is. It's not a paid collaboration. Uh, it's sort of like a PR gesture to reach out to influencers and ask them to come and enjoy the food and take some pictures and post it on their Instagram. I'm just being super honest with you. This is how it works for a lot of people. Uh, some paid, some non-paid. This is one of the non-paid ones. But I was, I haven't been to Shanghai and I thought I might go give it a try. Which is why I'm going. It's a shoot day with Jack and uh, we are halfway through. We have almost done, almost done. Last scene. We have about 
a few more shots to go and we're done. But I got really hungry so we're now at Ipudo and uh, we are gonna have lunch. Oh yeah, I had um, fish ball, the fish cake and all the tofu, fake tofu thing. I had that this morning for breakfast. I forgot to film it because I was starving. But now I suddenly recall that I have to film my couch, my meals. Hungry. Check this out, this is so sad. So much bread. <laughs> so little meat. Yo, yo. Oh, you want to show it? Your house down here. Down here. Today is Friday. It's 4 o'clock now, uh, but I got extra hungry so I asked my maid to cook something up for me because uh, I was busy cleaning up my room. Uh, this is just normal frying noodles. I know it looks a bit ugly but it is so good. It's konjac noodles. Um, I bought some from Shopee and a lot of people when you talk about konjac noodles, um, people automatically relate it to weight loss or whatnot but i genuinely like the taste of it it's like jelly and i love it i'm eating it not because i think it helps me lose weight no working out and eating in moderation and eating healthy food and non-processed food helps me lose weight this is generally because i like it and i'm eating a lot a lot of it let's eat Just in case you wanna know, this is the noodles I had. Uh, it's called instant shirataki noodles. I bought it in like the kuitiao form, and uh, it's really easy. All you have to do is drain the fluid, rinse it, drain it, uh, and cook it for like three minutes. Or whoops or stir fry it or whatever. I got it from Shopee, I believe, and it's called Mimo. Love it so much. Mm. Today is a Friday, and I'm gonna have all my favorite food. Tonight is dinner at Iki! Yay! Uh, this is my first time here. Never been to this place. I heard a lot about it. This is quite new. And uh, we're just gonna head in. Today is a Saturday and I decided to come and enjoy myself and have dinner. We are now waiting outside Iki because uh, they said that we have to wait for a bit till everyone leaves. Then it's our turn. Uh, let me show you the space. They have a little backyard here. Uh, I'm not sure what's that, but it's a lounge. That's the door. And then 
the other one? It's just normal. Yes, normal. It's good or we just have two of the normal? Uh, I thought this was blue, but it's actually blue. So it's blue. Oh my goodness! It's 11 o'clock. I'm not supposed to have this, but today is a Saturday and it's fine. I'm gonna <laughs> eat only fruits and vegetables tomorrow. Put it out there. Fries. This is the first time trying the drive in out. So literally you drive in, you they come to your car, you order, and they bring your food to the car. You don't leave the car. Drive through means you stay in the car, you drive through it. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had a bit of sake, this is a bit too much. Okay, good night. Hey, what do you mean? You're full, right? 見證去成長的,我一直來都是我們的驕傲以及自豪。決定結合成為一對夫婦呢,一個係 Congratulations. 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 Congratul